Hello, I'm Zach Lenerate, and I want to do a demonstration of the Media Player Classic AB Loop program I wrote in Autoit. Uh, Media Player Classic is a great program. It plays all kinds of different formats. Um, it does all kinds of cool things. You can do very good speed ramping, um, different filters, different shaders, play to different audio devices, etc. It has all kinds of different features, but you can't do an AB Loop because they've not coded that into the program. Um, I found this program code snippet on autoitscript.com that detailed how to communicate with the Media Player Classic API to both send and receive signals from Media Player Classic in the background. But for some reason, I can't connect to that server today. I don't know why. Um, but basically, I took that program, which is talked about how to communicate the two together, and I wrote my own loop engine around it. And this here is the program that I wrote. Uh, let me load that again. And pretty much what it does, um, there's an end point and an out point. The end point is the part where the video starts playing. So let's say like right there, right before it zoomed in here. And the out point is where you want the loop to stop. So when you hit O, it jumps back to the beginning of the end point. So it checks Media Player Classic for this time here. And it keeps looping back to this point when it reaches this point. So, you know, it goes from point A to point B over and over in a loop. Um, in my program, I also made a playlist feature where you can have a bunch of different in and out points set. Like, let's say, eh, let me make this one here. Grackle walking off of the mat. So that one's set. So clear the points and then find another point here. Okay, so there's a squirrel. Make another in point here. That point, it keeps jumping between those two points. Make another one. Crackle picking it big. And another one here of the squirrel. Um, in and out point. Now, another thing I made with this um, program is sometimes you can set an in point a little too far in. So you can trim it back, back and forth with these buttons here. That trims it. And when you hit Alt I, or click this button, it previews the endpoint. Um, right now what it's doing is it's keep, it keeps playing the like very first second of where the endpoint is over and over again. So you can tweak it back a little bit. And then you hit preview again and it starts it from where you tweaked it. Um, save that as an event here. Squirrel getting not out of the feeder. And now you can either go back and forth between the event you just set, which is this one here, and the other ones that you've had before. So you can have a whole bunch of different in and out points set um, throughout the video, or throughout different videos. Because the way I made it is, each event that you make in this timeline is tied to a file. So if I wanted to, I could go to a different file here. Uh, let's see here, how about this one? Okay, so I want to start in here, see how it changed to 9 seconds and out there. See, now it's looping there. That's not really the best demonstration. Let's make another out point here. Okay, in point, out point. See, now, so now it plays until it fades and then it jumps back to the beginning of that, that playback part, right here, jump back. Okay, make that an event, add event. Raccoon getting Cheerio. So now you have these four events. So I loaded the squirrel file, loaded the raccoon file, and you can play it all as a playlist. So it plays one thing after the other. So that's playing number one, there goes number two, number three, and then it'll go to the raccoon file for number four. Um, switch that back to loop mode, it'll go back to just looping one part. Um, find another file here, lemur squirrels. So let's say you just want that jump right there. Now see, like, my endpoint was set a little late because he's already jumped. So that's when I do the preview thing. Click preview. It previews the endpoint. Trim it back a little bit to the point before he jumps. And then play it. Play the loop. So that's the loop. And squirrel pouncing on the mat. So that's that, that loop point there. 
clear that. Find another shot here where you want to loop in point here. Uh, trim it back a little bit. The reason it keeps playing the same like little tiny chunk over and over again is because it's just previewing that one little point. And the reason I did that was if you have a long loop that's like 30 seconds long, otherwise you'd have to wait for the entire loop to go the whole way through before you could see where the endpoint started. This literally only plays like a small quarter second chunk of where the endpoint is, so you can tell exactly where it starts. Okay, so it'll start here before he bites the thing. And then end when it jumps off. See? So there's the loop. Um, and if you want to do the, the same preview thing with the out point, you can do that too. That's where the out point ends. So trim it. See? And now see there, there's the next shot. You don't want the next shot on there, you can trim back. And then play the whole thing. That'll be the loop. And you can save that as a separate event here. Squirrel bites Matt and jumps off. So now you have all these different defined points. Pouncing on the mat. Raccoon getting Cheerio. And the other file from before. Then these are like three or four separate. You can tell here, like those are separate paths to separate files. Um, you can save that as a list. I call them looper files. So let's call that like uh, squirrel and bird test. Um, and when you open up the program the next time, um, you can s you can load that file here, squirrel and bird test. And it loads the same playlist. Put it back in playlist mode. It'll play it one th one to the next. Event one. There's event two. You can see it highlighted. That's event three. It'll go to the next file, then four. Um, event five in a second here. See? So, like, basically just playing the in and outs between those files. File number one of these three plays between 909 and 914. Next one's 1963 to 1966. Uh, 2193 to 2198. And then it goes to the next file, nine seconds to 18 seconds. If you want to switch back to loop mode, just click this. Um, there was one other example. Oh, the raccoon thing. Um, how it switched to that next shot. I've already made the endpoint. I've already set the event here. But if you want to change it, you can. Once again, you can preview the out. You don't have to do it that way, but that's the way I do it. Um, you can see this the second shot. Trim it back by clicking this. Keep trimming back and back and back and back. You can see it fading. Um, and now I've only showed that one shot. I've gotten rid of the second shot, the transition completely. Stop previewing the out and then click on this to get the event and hit modify. Um, you can change the name, but see how it says 18.141 seconds? When I hit OK, it will change that event to 17091. 17091. So now that loop is specifically just that one shot. It will not fade to the next one. It's only isolated to that one part. And uh, if you want to do, like let's, let's do this one for an example, for an example. If you want to do only a specific part of a loop, you can have like the main loop here, and then just do like, the secondary part like biting, jumping, that, and make that a completely new event. I do that by putting this little bracket thing in and then writing like squirrel jumping. So now this is the main long event. Um, that's the main loop and then this is the tighter loop. Um, the other thing is, I was talking about with the speed part with um, Media Player Classic. You can ramp the speed and still keep the same loop. Because what it does is it looks for this position time. When this position reaches 20.326, which is 20 seconds of three, you know, 20.326 seconds. Um, because the position slider, even though it shows like a, a time-based thing here, it goes by seconds in the actual, you know, communication between the two programs. So that's really 2,193 seconds to 2,198 seconds in this one, this example here. This is 19 to 20. But you see, as I slow it down, it's still, and if I go to this one, I'll do the same thing. It'll keep the same loop 
even though I've slowed it down. And once again, if I want to do like a separate trim thing here, um, let's say from here to there. See, I've trimmed it down a little bit, so it only shows him jumping off. Um, make another event. Shorter pouncing squirrel. Um, save that file to the looper file, yes. Um, you can restore the speed. It keeps the same loop. Slow it down again. Um, so that's pretty much the main part of this program is I wrote it to be an A-B loop program that not only could take um, multiple files and do A-B loops because the original version I wrote the very very first version that I wrote was just in out you know it's a very quick dirty thing I put together and then after a while I thought maybe I can make a playlist and I could do all this other stuff um, and I did um, I'm tweaking it here and there and I'm doing different things it also has um, all these are hotkeys so if I wanted to I can make this full screen and still operate it I just clear the in and out points in out you know so I'm still making in and out points on this but I'm doing it in full script I'm doing it with this as the background so going to another shot here we go to another video too um, where's the gulls 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 there it is do like this one here. Slow it down again. Go to another shot here. Like let's say before the, the white gull jumps in here. Look at the endpoint. Endpoint. And out point. Make another event here. And the other thing is, like, I made this playlist thing to save a bunch of events. Like, if you want to have a loop that constantly keeps repeating that you know you want the specific points, you don't need to do any of this. It acts as an in and out just, just by I.O. You know, or clicking these um, set in, set out. All you got to do is that to make the in and out points. Um, add that as an event. Goals on the feeder. Yeah, just hit set in, set out. For in and out. And then just clear them if you want to change it. Clear all, she clears them all. Change the speed again. In and out again. Here's the point I just set. Slow it down again. Um, so that's all that. Just close the program. Save this again. Yes, I'll write the file. And then I can open it back up again. The list is still there. Here's the grackle from the first file. You can get all these different events. And it still keeps the in and out points. Um, I have another one here. Another list here of this fox that I have. And that's looping between these two points. Um, that's pretty much it. Like in and out. The playlist here that lets you play through different files if you want to. Go back to that squirrel and bird one. Full screen. Still keeps the in and out points. Slow down. That's pretty much it. Like, it's still work in progress. I'm still trying to do some things with it. Um, better file handling and all that. But, uh, yeah, more or less, that's, that's the main goal of what it is.